This video is rated T for Teen. Or some eggs. I actually hate eggs, so I'll pass. But what I will sign up for is watching Yoshi and Billy Hatcher beat each other up to find out who's stronger. And yeah, I'm talking Billy Hatcher from the 2003 GameCube game Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg versus Nintendo's very own Yoshi. Two egg collectors will scramble it out, but only one will come out sunny side up. Today, we find out who gets served. Today, we rewind Rumble. If someone was going to steal your mornings away, how would you react? And by steal your mornings, I mean that literally, not figuratively. Like, your mornings will no longer exist. There'll be eternal darkness. And while I'm sure Batman wouldn't mind, but not everyone is a nocturnal billionaire playboy. In fact, this was some pretty bad news when Dark Raven was plotting to steal the mornings away from Morning Land. Morning Land without mornings would just be land which is lame. And the chickens who lived on this land were obviously too chicken to stop Dark Raven themselves. So what do they do? Well, of course, they call upon a group of small children to embark on a dangerous war. What else would they do? Call someone competent like Sonic the Hedgehog? Because this is the same universe that includes Sonic the Hedgehog. So clearly something is up when the Sonic gang isn't suited for the job. And by suited for the job, I also mean that literally, not figuratively. You need to wear a chicken suit to accomplish your goals on this land. Because not anyone can use the power of the eggs unless they wear the legendary chicken suit. Even if Sonic wanted to save Morningland, he'd have to be running around in a giant chicken suit so maybe that's why sonic stayed back as only an assist now wearing the suit itself isn't all that amazing unless you have an egg or two on your hands but in a land full of eggs getting your hands on one isn't too hard to find now with eggs this suit is a game changer there are tons of eggs with unique abilities from the power loop egg that uses light-based energy the thorn egg which can grow sharp thorns the bomb egg that blows up like a bomb the bad egg that sucks blood the crow egg that steals light the gorilla egg that doubles your power, the chameleon egg that turns you invisible, the mouse egg that shrinks your size, the turtle egg that increases defense, so on and so forth. There are many elemental based eggs as well, which contain animals that help you along the way, such as the cypher eggs with fire abilities, the clipping egg with water powers, the recce egg with lightning, and the richie egg with ice powers, just to name a few. In my opinion, the most powerful eggs would be the sonic eggs. This grants you sonic and friends at your assistance for a short period of time. The likes of Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, and even other Sega characters like Knights and Amigo. Pretty much what I'm telling you here is, if Billy gets his hand on a Sonic egg, Yoshi could be in a lot of trouble. But on the flip side, this does bring us some of Billy's weaknesses. And his main weakness would be not having any eggs around him at all. Without eggs, Billy is way more powerless than he would be with eggs. He's just some kid in a chicken suit, remember? Overall, Billy Hatcher is one of the bravest chickens to ever live. I told you this message a few years ago, but it needs to be stated again. Yoshi is arguably the most underappreciated and overworked Mario character in the entire Mario verse. And of course, Luigi does make a good runner up. I understand he lives in Mario's shadow. But if Luigi is living in a shadow, then Yoshi is the one living in an abyss. The Yoshi species were the one who raised both baby Mario and Luigi. It was Yoshi who has to sacrifice himself and die each time Mario. Mario needed an extra job. It's Yoshi who is forced to eat whenever Mario or Luigi commands him to. And they force him to eat by punching him right on the head, which is basically animal abuse. And for what? Not much, I'll tell you that. So yeah, Luigi is pretty rough on the Mario's wing, but Yoshi's the real tragedy. Lucky for him, dealing with Dilemma is one of his best qualities. You see, 
it's Yoshi's natural instinct to serve and protect and to adapt. There's a pretty solid reason why all the dinosaurs but Yoshi went extinct. But enough about this Yoshi sob story, let's talk about what this egg-laying reptile can do. When it comes to powers and physical capabilities, at least at the base form level, Yoshi is actually stronger and faster than base form Mario. While Mario clearly outpaces Yoshi with skill and intelligence, and even if we include his RPG and paper feats and power-ups, then this is definitely a whole different ballgame. But if we're talking about raw physical stats in their base game forms, Yoshi does have an edge. It's one of the main reasons why Mario needs Yoshi to help him on his adventures. Yoshi can jump higher, longer, and further than Mario. And just like Mario, he can also survive black holes and the core of stars. Yoshi has a really long tongue capable of stretching and swallowing many different objects. After swallowing, he can easily lay an egg containing what he just swallowed. This can be used as a great range-styled attack. Yoshi has the ability to perform the flutter jump, which allows him to run through the air currents and gain an extra boost during midair travel. One of Yoshi's main weaknesses is being tamed and settled down. It is in Yoshi's natural and primal instinct to obey the rider and protect the rider's commands. If a rider is capable of settling down Yoshi, they can ride him like a horse. Overall, Yoshi's an extremely powerful creature who is physically on par with many of the Mario heavy hitters. He is capable of performing many useful midair kicks and extensions. And now, let's set ourselves a circumstance. This battle is going to take place in the Super Mario world, and there is no prep time. Once that circumstance bar is finally loaded, it's time to rewind rumble. Huh, I've never seen this place before, but I know I'm getting close to Dark Raven. Huh? Is that a rabbish egg? I've never seen one with green spots before. I gotta put this in a safe spot. Hmm, I can't wait to get back to my valuable egg. And I remember exactly where I put it. Right in the middle of nowhere with no protection or security. I'm sure everything is gonna be just fine. What? My egg? No! Why on earth would someone steal an unnamed egg out in the open wilderness? I need to get to the bottom of this. Hey! That egg is mine! Give it back now! Hmm. I want to help you, but first I need you to prove this is your egg. My fist would love to prove that to you, thief. Here's a quickie. Five. Hopefully you enjoyed that animation, and if you did, super special thanks to Joe the Animator, and I definitely owe a huge thank you to Mario Kart Gamer Dude for playing the voice of both Yoshi and Billy Hatcher. Thanks, and enjoy the post-analysis.
and the winner is Yoshi. Now, this is probably one of the rare debates where battle location has a huge role in determining a winner. You see, because this battle took place outside of Morningland, Billy Hatcher is going to be restricted to his base stats and abilities. His best powers come from the exclusive eggs found within Morningland. Now, on the flip side, if we have this battle take place in Morningland, you're pretty much asking Yoshi to die, because Yoshi would then be facing Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Billy all at once. Now, you're probably thinking, wouldn't that be outside help? In my opinion on this case, I would say not exactly. Since Billy is the one hatching these eggs, the eggs exist on its own. It's not like Billy's calling Sonic out of the blue. He's literally hatching him into the battlefield. And if Yoshi himself had a way to hatch it, I would say it's fair game for him either way. The problem for Billy in this episode is that those eggs don't exist in the Marioverse. At least not without prep time. Yoshi's only way of beating Billy in Morningland would be killing him before he gets his hand on a Sonic egg, which is possible but will be a challenge. Now, in this circumstance, Yoshi beating a base Billy is actually quite a stomp. Yoshi is an MFTL star level powerhouse going up against a super level hypersonic plus Billy Hatcher. Billy is fast enough to dodge meteors and is durable enough to tank attacks from Dark Raven, but this is nothing compared to Yoshi scaling to Mario surviving black holes. Making the winner of this battle, Yoshi. Now, if you want to see a rematch in Morningland, all you gotta do is like this video. If this video gets 5,000 likes, a rematch will be put into production. Don't forget to comment down your own ideas, and stay tuned as the next fighters are going to be revealed on the next episode of Rewind Rumble. Yoshi won that battle, guys. Tell me down in the comment section down below what you guys think of it and why. Remember to subscribe, like the video, ring the bell, and turn on notifications. Thanks. You guys are awesome. This is a drop in the axe to Shiny Sky where you don't want to mess up with the axe. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, ciao, peace.